I would like to address this August body. My esteemed colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, aking pinakamamahal ng mga kababayan Pilipino sa magandang araw po. I was asked why I would want to lead the House of Representatives during the worst possible time. In the midst of a global pandemic that has crippled governments and upended our lives. But why not? The true measure of leadership comes not when things are easy, but especially when things are most difficult. Whether famine or feast, poverty or plenty, a leader will always rise to the challenge and respond to the call of service. It has been a difficult journey to get to where we are. One fraught with many frustrations and complications. But then, we are all here. And this is a testament to our indomitable spirit and our collective commitment to honoring our word. For what are we, who are we, if we cannot live up to our word? This is not the triumph of one. This is the triumph of everyone who believes that the promise is a promise. To my esteemed colleagues, this is day one of another chapter in this house. When we renew and strengthen our commitment to support the President's legislative agenda and contribute to the shining legacy that the Duterte administration will leave behind. We commit to pass laws that are responsive to the needs of our fellow Filipinos here and abroad. Laws focused on jobs, the economy, healthcare, food on the table, peace and order, and clean, sustainable energy. And most of all, today's events would ensure that the President's call for a timely, legal, and constitutional approval of the 2021 budget will be complied with. Nais ko pong pasalamatan ang mga parties, PDP Laban, Nationalist People's Coalition, the Partialist Coalition, the Visayan Bloc, the Northern Luzon Alliance Bloc, the Mindanaoan Bloc, the Metro Manila Bloc, the Bicolandia, BARM, including the NUP and NP parties. Party leaders at Mambabatas, naniniwala at sumusuporta sa ating kausa at adhikain para sa isang kongreso na tunay na para sa tao. Hindi sa iilan lang. Nagpapasalamat rin ako sa tiwala at moral support ni Mayor Inday Sara Duterte, Deputy Speaker Pulong Duterte at Senator Bongo. Higit sa lahat, ako'y nagpapasalamat sa ating mahal na Pangulo. A man of his word, may isang salita. Sa mabuting halimbawa and for inspiring young government servants like me na hindi hadlang ang pagiging probinsyano para tayo ay makapagserbisyo. That a young provinciano congressman from a small province like Marinduque can be elected Speaker of the House of Representatives. <laughs> 
This can only happen in the age of Duterte when anything is possible for the benefit of the Filipino people. With this, with this compelling proof that has installed me as a Speaker of the House, I would like to extend my hand to Speaker Cayetano and hope that he would be amenable to sit down with me as we comply with the term sharing agreement for a peaceful transition for the benefit of our members and the country. Today, history is made once again in these August halls. At ako po, inyong abang lingkod, Lord Alan J. Velasco, ay tauspusong tumatanggap sa hamon na maging speaker ng Kamara de Representante, I accept this once-in-a-lifetime challenge to serve as Speaker of the House of Representatives of the 18th Congress to my fellow Filipinos. I will not let you down. You have my word. Maraming salamat po. Mr. Speaker, I move to suspend session. So move, Mr. Speaker. Session suspended.